OSPF multi area area configuration. This is the topology that I'm going to use in this um, lab. So we have R1 in area 0 and both in area 0 and area 1. And R2 is in area 0 and area 2. And R3 is just in area 1 and R4 is just in area 2. And you can see the the subnets used in the uh, links or on the links. <clears throat> so here 10.10.13.0 slash 24. Here 10.10.12.0 slash 24. And here is 10.10.24.0 slash 24. And we have look back here uh, on R3 and look back on R4. Okay. So I actually already configured the routers. So this is just to verify that. Just make I'm uh, sorry. I'm making this video to verify the configurations. Um, or just to record, because I already verified it. By the way, uh, just to record. Um, just to record it and show you guys. All right, so you can just verify the configurations here on R1. That's the configuration, OSPF configuration on R1. And this is on R2. And this is on R3. I will explain it a bit, in a bit. Okay, so look at, let's look at R1. So R1 is uh, we can see in the topology that it's in both uh, area zero. We can see we can see that, or we can verify that by looking here as well, in the configuration. So we see that this network belongs to this interface, and we configure that interface to belong to area zero. And same with this interface here. This this interface has this subnets subnet. So that subnet or that interface belongs to area one. And same with uh, similar to R2. So this interface belongs to area zero. And this interface here belongs to area two. And looks at let, let's look at R3. So this interface here belong to, belongs to R, area one. And the loop back. Uh, interface belongs to area one and we on r4 this interface belong to so again uh, I already talked about this in the previous video that if you configure this this you know this network statement this uh, means that you are running the OSPF on this interface and at the same time you are uh, advertising this network and of course you put that interface uh, you you are also putting that interface to area 2 in this case alright so that's um, the configuration uh, basically so on R1 R2 again R3 R4 So now we can verify our configurations. So these are the verification commands that we can use. So of course, this is how you verify the uh, OSPF or the neighbor ships uh, between routers. So let's, let's clear that. So now in R1, we see that it has a neighbor ship with R2. Oh, looking back at looking at topology here, R2 and R3, and on R2, in 
it has a neighborship with R1 and R4 yes and on R3 it only has a neighborship with just R1 yeah so just R1 and oops On R4, it has a neighborship with R2. And by the way, you might ask here, because I also wondered earlier before, I mean, when I was checking it, <clears throat> uh, checking the configuration. So you can see here that on R3, the neighbor ID is this one. So R1 is actually using the highest IP address to be its uh, to be a router ID and we can verify that by doing this command here here this is the router ID and this is what we see I mean this is the IP address that we see on R2 here and of course on R3 as well all right so now we can uh, verify the area actually and we can do that by doing this command let me clear that, clear that, clear that, clear that. So here, by doing this command, we see that, uh, let me look at topology, the topology. So this neighbor, <clears throat> I mean, in the area zero via, this so we know that this interface belongs to this to area zero and this interface belongs to area one and of course same with other routers so this uh, router 2 okay those this interface belongs to area 0 and this interface belongs to area 2 let's look at router 3 okay this interface belongs to um, area 1 yeah we don't see the the loopback interface actually is it here loop back interface trying to find it no it's not here I guess we don't see that we don't uh, see loop back interfaces by doing this command because this is just the uh, you can see the I mean that's as the commands says command says it only it should only show you the uh, OSPF neighbors neighbor detail so that's why I know now look back interface so this one here interface belongs to era 2 and there's another pro I mean there's another command that you can use actually this one and let me just clear that. So now we see that this network belongs to area 0 and this, this network belongs to area 1. And of course we can do the same on other routers. So let's see, let, let's say R3. So this uh, network belongs to area 1 and this network belongs to area 1. Okay. Um, next is now we can check the routes from different areas so let's start with R1 do that do that okay so here looking at this uh, output we see that this interface I mean this not interface this prefix Yeah, 
this uh, this is actually what you call host route but you can also say uh, route so this uh, prefix or route or prefix no not prefix yeah this is the yeah, you can also, uh, also say prefix it's fine so this prefix uh, is in is learned via OSPF you can see here this this is these are all the routes that are learned via uh, OSPF so we can see that this uh, route uh, learn this route or learn it R1 learn it via OSPF so when you say when you see just zero it is a what you call intra uh, route or intra sorry intra area or learned via OSPF uh, within area so we can see that here because this route it is only in area one but if you see here I mean we see other we check other routes we see that let's say this route uh, it is tagged uh, we see the codes here it is tagged with this code because it is an inter area route same with in other words we are learning it from other from another area <clears throat> or from different area and same with this because this is this two these two routes belong to area two yeah same with this route Yes, and we can see this similar to we can see uh, things similar similar things on R2. So this route is a R2, yeah, is an uh, intra-area route. This one, uh, hence the O code or tag, and this one here <coughs> is a here by the way and this one here is a inter area or OSPF inter area route this one and this one because this th these routes belong are in area one we can see it here in the topology and of course if we check uh, on R3 we should only see inter area OSPF inter area routes so from R3 we see we are learning this route this is in area 1 I mean 2 this route is in area 0 this route is in area 2 and if we go to R4 from R4 we see that yeah we should only see uh, inter area routes so this one is in area 1 let me just show it to you. And this one is in area zero here, and this one is in area one. <clears throat> so that's how you can verify routes from different areas. And another thing that you can do is ping the, from R3 I will ping uh, this, IP address and sourcing it from the uh, loopback in, uh, IP address, which is this IP address. Let's see if it works. We can so we can see, sorry, we can do the same on R4. So from R4, we can ping that IP address source from its loopback IP address, and it works as well. So we now. I mean, we know that uh, our configurations are working as expected. So yeah, that's how you can configure OSPF multi-area um, or 
tutorial. That's how you can do OSPF multi-area configurations and that's how you can also check the areas and check the routes from different areas. Yeah, that's all in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.